guys, welcome to another guitar tutorial and um, today we're going to be doing a song by Radiohead called Ill Wind and it's a b-side of theirs from the A Moon Shape Pool album so um, yeah it's quite a funky sort of um, tune and um, I just wanted to show you guys how to play it so let's get straight into it. The song's actually dropped C tuning okay so that's C G C F A D Okay, um, throughout the song I'm actually going to refer the um, strings to E, A, D, G, B, E, so it's just easier, so that's standard tuning, okay, but this is in drop C tuning, remember that. Um, yeah, so I think the numbers from a, um, a moon shape pool, um, that song uses drop C as well, so yeah, it's pretty cool to play. So, um, the first little bit of the, intro the introduction, um, which is also played throughout the song sort of thing, um, it goes a bit like this, so... Okay, so all you're doing is um, pressing your finger on the 8th fret of the A string and 7th fret on the D string, okay? So, I um, don't know if you can see that shape. Okay, so you have that, and then your... Um, you also, you can. I just want to mention you can use your fingers for this or just use a pick, it's up to you. Um, so you're hitting an, an open low E, okay? So, and then you're hitting um, the A and D strings. So it's like, so you play low E, A and D, low E. A and D, and then low E, low E, A and D, okay, so, oh wait, sorry, I got that wrong, okay, and then you play a little um, riff, so you, on the A string, you go from the 8th fret to the 7th fret, and then you go up to the low E on the 8th, and then you go to the 7th fret on the low E, so it's... So you obviously do that all together, so and yeah, you repeat that. So you do that four times. Um sorry, got hiccups. Um for the introduction. And then when you start the verse, when you start singing, um you do it two times and then you slide up to the tenth fret on the A and ninth fret on the D. Okay, so and you're gonna be doing that same pattern. Um, but when you do the walkabout, walkabout, um, yeah, it's like a, a walking riff sort of thing. So when you do that, you slide back to the um, eighth and seventh fret. So you do it over there. So like, if you get what I mean. So you um, always do it over here. Okay. So, and then so you do that twice. Then you um, do the walk bit. And then you play um, tenth fret on the A and D. Okay, so okay, um, so that's that section. Um, and then you slide to this chord. So it's five x x three. Okay, um, which is the next section. And this section sounds a bit like. That's what it's going to be sounding like. So I better move the guitar around so you can see. Um, so yeah, so it's five x x three. So um, you just pluck the low E string on the fifth fret and the G string on the third fret. Okay, so in turn, so try and sort of work out this pattern for yourself is not difficult at all. So and then you can play some um, an open D string as well. If you want to add that in, so like, um, so when you're coming towards that, the end of that, sorry, you slide to three x x two. So it's on the same strings, but you just slide over three x x two. So it's like this. Okay, um, you've done that twice, and then you stay on three x x two. Okay, so. 
the same pattern but you're going to slide to um, the second fret on the low E and an open G string so so it's start that again so you do 5xx3 to 3xx2 5xx3 to 3xx2 but then you actually um, go back to the verse again so um, yeah you, you go back to 087 okay yeah so you um, after that little um, section you go to the um, chords you used in the introduction again okay so you're you're going to do that introduction bit again basically um, so you're just going to stay on this one so sorry I can't remember how it sounds you only do it twice um, which is like an interlude bit and then you start the um, next verse again and you go all the way through to that little um, bit and you do it all again and then you come into a third section and this part in particular um, you can tell there's been like sound effects used and different instruments have been used um, as well as guitars so um, this bit sort of emulates the recording just on the guitar okay so forgive me if it's not completely correct but I think it's okay so this little bit you hold um, your finger down on the 10th fret on the G string and you're going to be plucking with your fingers or your um, or strum with your um, pick the D strings, the open D string and the G string which you're, which you're pressing down on the 10th fret and you're going to do that same pattern again so and you're going to do that um, same walkabout, walkabout I keep calling it a walkabout. Um, it's like a walk, -a walking riff sort of thing. Okay, so I'm just gonna call it that. So um, but you're gonna do it in reverse this time. So you were doing it like this, but you're gonna do it like this. So you start on the low E on the seventh fret, then you go to the eighth fret on the low E, then the A string on the seventh, and then A string on the eighth. So. So that little bit is like this. I'm not too sure if the pattern is exactly the same as the first section or not. Um, you might have to try and add some more um, of these notes in. Whoops. It's, it's all very similar anyway. So yeah. Just sort of go. So you don't actually have to hit the low E too much, it's up to you. I'm sort of doing it by ear, so I'm not too sure. Um, so you do that four times, okay? And then you do it two more times. Um, so. I'll start from the second last time, okay? So. So on the second, um, on the last time essentially, you slide your finger down to the ninth fret on the G string, okay? So. And then you go slide up to the 12th fret on the um, G string, so. go to 11, uh, the 11th fret Oops. then you go to the uh, that's the 8th fret Oops. I did the wrong one sorry then you go to the 7th fret Then you go 
to the fifth fret. But um, on this one, you can sort of do that little walking riff on, on the fourth and fifth fret instead if you want to. Or you can do it up here if you want in the same place, up to you. Um, whoops. So after, after the tenth fret one, you essentially do everything twice, okay? So from the twelfth fret, essentially, you do everything twice. Then you get to the third fret, okay? So so you are here. Then you play the third fret. Whoops. So yeah, you could do that um, that little riff bit on the second and third fret as well when you're doing the third fret on the G string. So, and then you're gonna play on the seventh fret of the G string finally, okay? And you're just gonna keep um, doing that section. So. So you do that four times. Okay, so after you played on um, that final section on the G string on the seventh fret, so you have. You do that four times, okay? So, um, and then you come straight into the verse again. So it's like. slide up to an extra chord so it's um, 12th fret on the A and D okay so and now you're gonna come into the final section okay um, so you're gonna skip the first time you use 5xx3 okay so you're just gonna go to 2xx um, sorry 3xx2 okay so Do that same pattern as we did before so you're doing the second half of it essentially so you do that twice and then you come to the 5xx3 so and then you just slide up to the seventh fret on the g string and just strum that yeah, so I think that's the entire song. So just um, keep practicing and you'll get the hang of that one quite quickly, I think. And um, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.